Hey guys, we just wanted to do a quick little blurb uh, on some news that we looked at. So we read through Oculus's announcement of the Oculus Quest 2, um, and they gave us some very important information. Yeah, first off, we are super stoked about the Oculus Quest 2. It is gonna be awesome. The Oculus Quest, the first one, revolutionized the virtual reality industry and headsets in general. And the second one's just gonna be even better, updated in every way, and it's gonna be even cheaper. So that is awesome. But it got us thinking, we were like, huh, seems like Oculus is really committing hard to the Oculus Quest in the standalone headset market, I guess. So what does that mean for their Rift S product line? What does that mean for uh, PC VR? And so we were, we were taking a look at the Oculus Quest page and we found out some news that I think is very important that everybody knows. Right. So Oculus has announced that they are going to cease selling the Rift S in um, the beginning of next year. That's a really big deal. Um, they said that they're pursuing PC VR through the Quest, so they're gonna set up the whole link cable deal. And they had a lot of really good support for that on the Quest, so that's that's exciting, but it's kind of a bummer. I, I'm, a little, I'm a little upset about that one. I'm a little sad. Yeah, we're pretty bummed because, first off, we love the Rift S. We think that it is an incredible headset. Also revolutionized the virtual reality industry by not having uh, sensors and things like that. We started off with the HTC Vive, which we absolutely loved. It was an amazing headset. But after a year, year and a half, we realized that Oculus really just had a better product for that price range, and that was the Rift S. So we've recently been playing a lot of the Rift S, using that for all of our business endeavors, things of that nature. And it's a little bit sad because it's such a solid headset for such a solid price. Because, you know, think about it, if, if the Rift S isn't on the market anymore, what are your options? You either get the HTC Vive, you get the Cosmos, which is $800, $900, you get the Index, which is $1,000, so it's just making it a lot harder for people who play PC VR to have a nice middle range, you know? So that kind of sucks. Hopefully they're really just trying to push the... Um... <laughs> The, the angle that I think they're going with is that they're trying to get the Oculus Quest in more people's hands so that they can sell Oculus Quest games. Because no, like a lot of Oculus Quest games can't be bought anywhere else except through a Quest. Mm -hmm. And so if they take a Quest and they're like, okay, this is now for both people that want to use this on the go, like without a PC, as well as PC users through the link cable, then they can get those, both of those markets and kind of force uh, our hand in, in having mobile VR. So I, I get it. Like... You know, maybe I want, like, it's a kind of a dual nature. And maybe it's okay. Maybe we'll use yeah. the link cable and it's going to be long enough and you, it'll be, it'll work way better and all those things. And it'll be maybe even more stable. I don't know. Um, but hopefully that's the case. Hopefully they're not abandoning, you know, VR in general and just going with the quest and just trying to kind of transition people into that middle market area. And supposedly they're get, it's getting 90 hertz when you plug in through a link cable. And that's a big deal. Um, so yeah, it's a give and a take. So. Yeah, it, it, what does this mean for you as a VR, a potential VR consumer? If you have or want to have a PC VR headset, this could be a, a really big hit to you and, and your future of VR gaming because Oculus is such an awesome competitor in the VR market. Yep. Um, so them pulling out of that whole you know, PC VR industry, that whole market is, is gonna be rough for people like that. If you are, let, let's say, a family, parents who want to have VR in the home for your kids, this could be really actually a good move for you because Oculus, which is an awesome company owned by a huge company, Facebook, is now going to be devoting most of their resources, most of their time in standalone VR headsets. That means that they're going to be, they're going to keep getting better. They're going to most likely keep getting cheaper because that's just what they've been doing. They've Started off with the Quest at $400, lowered it to $300 with the Quest 2, and it's just getting better. So that is good news for people in, in, in that demographic. Parents or maybe high school students, college students that want to play VR, want to have that experience, but uh, want, can't afford the PC or don't want to have a PC to deal with, things like that. So this could be a good, it could, it's, you know, bittersweet. For people like us, it kind of is a bummer. We really like what Oculus was doing, but for other people, I could see how this could be a really good, a good move. Yep.
So, and to give you a little bit, bit of perspective, right? You have, let's, let's start with the lowest end. Lowest end possible is like phone VR, right? So you put like your phone in a Google Cardboard and that's kind of being phased out. People aren't really using it because they have access to better headsets. So it's phone VR. And then all the way on the other end, you have like the Valve Index, right? The best of the best headset. And there's a lot of other business application ones, but that one's awesome because it works with everything, right? It's mainstream application. So you have this huge range, right? And then you have all these PC headsets and then you get into like the Oculus Quest, then you get into the Go and then you have like mobile headsets. And this is kind of getting phased out, like it's not getting as popular. So what Oculus is trying to do with the Quest is capture all of the market, right? All the way up until like the highest, very high end stuff, the Oculus Quest can't compete there, but everything else they have, they are, yeah. they nail it. They have a great market, all those things. And so they're just like, you know what? Why are we competing with ourselves? We're competing with ourselves with these two headsets, We're taking half of the, half of the market. Why don't we specialize, take all of the market that we can with one great headset that does everything. And so it's good and bad and whatever. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, we won't know exactly if it's worth the trade until I have it in my hands and I can play it for several right. hours and can compare it to the Rift S. Um, and so I guess we'll just see. Yeah, I, all in all, I think it's exciting. Uh, it's a good move in the VR direct. Like VR is heading in a good direction, I think. It's becoming yeah. more accessible, it's becoming cheaper, and it's just getting better. So I'd be happy about that uh, if I were you, if, if I were us. If I need, we're, we're looking forward to it. But yeah. Um, at the same time, a little bit of a bummer that with the release of the Quest, they are getting rid of, you know, the PC, the PC VR. So, yep, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, for all your VR news and updates and things like that, come to us, the Cyberspace VR. Uh, check out our website, vrinformers.com. Uh, we'll keep you updated with everything you need to know. So let us know if there's something you want us to cover, some news or updates in the VR industry. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. We love to have you guys. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.